The Convair F-102 Delta Dagger was an American interceptor aircraft that was built as part of the backbone of the United States Air Force's air defenses in the late 1950s. Entering service in 1956, its main purpose was to intercept invading Soviet strategic bomber fleets primarily the Tupolev Tu-95 during the Cold War. Designed and manufactured by Convair, 1000 F-102s were built. A member of the Century series, the F-102 was the USAF's first operational supersonic interceptor and Delta wing fighter. It used an internal weapons bay to carry both guided missiles and rockets. As originally designed, it could not achieve Mach 1 supersonic flight until redesigned with area ruling. The F-102 replaced subsonic fighter types such as the Northrop F-89 Scorpion, and by the 1960s, it saw limited service in the Vietnam War in bomber escort and ground attack roles. It was supplemented by McDonnell F-101 Voodoos and, later, by McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom IIs. Many of the F-102s were transferred from the active duty Air Force to the Air National Guard by the mid to late 1960s, and, with the exception of those examples converted to unmanned QF-102 full-scale aerial target FSAT drones, the type was totally retired from operational service in 1976. The follow-on replacement was the Mac 2 Convair F-106 Delta Dart, which was an extensive redesign of the F-102. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design and Development. Topic initial designs and problems On 8 October 1948, the Board of Senior Officers of the U.S. Air Force USAF made recommendations that the service organize a competition for a new interceptor scheduled to enter service in 1954. As such, the all-new design would initially be dubbed the 1954 Ultimate Interceptor. Four months later, on 4 February 1949, the USAF approved the recommendation and prepared to hold the competition the following year. In November 1949, the Air Force decided that the new aircraft would be built around a fire control system FCS. The FCS was to be designed before the airframe to ensure compatibility. The airframe and FCS together were called the weapon system. In January 1950, the USAF Air Materiel Command issued request for proposals RFPs to 50 companies for the FCS, of which 18 responded. By May, the list was revised downward to 10. Meanwhile, a board at the U.S. Department of Defense headed by Major General Gordon P. Saville reviewed the proposals, and distributed some to the George E. Valley-led Air Defense Engineering Committee. Following recommendations by the committee to the Saville board, the proposals were further reduced to two competitors, Hughes Aircraft and North American Aviation. Although the Valley Committee thought it was best to award the contract to both companies, Hughes was chosen by Saville and his team on the 2nd of October 1950. Proposals for the airframe were issued on the 18th of June 1950, and in January 1951, six manufacturers responded. On 2 July 1954, three companies, Convair, Republic, and Lockheed, won the right to build a mock-up. Until then, Convair had done research into Delta-winged aircraft, experimenting with different designs, two of which fell under the name P-92. Of the three, the best design was to win the production contract under the name Project MX-1554. In the end, Convair emerged as the victor with its design, designated XF-102, after Lockheed dropped out and Republic built only a mock-up. The development of three different designs was too expensive and in November, only Convair was allowed to continue with its Model 8-80. 
To speed development, it was proposed to equip the prototypes and pre-production aircraft with the less powerful Westinghouse J-40 turbojet. Continued delays to the J-67 and MA-1 formerly MX-1179 FCS led to the decision to place an interim aircraft with the J-40 and a simpler fire control system dubbed E-9 into production as the F-102A. The failure of the J-40 led to the Pratt & Whitney J-57 turbojet with afterburner, rated with 10,000 pounds force 44 kilonewtons of thrust being substituted for the prototypes and F-102 as. This aircraft was intended to be temporary, pending the development of the F-102B, which would employ the more advanced Curtis Wright J-67, a licensed derivative of the Bristol Siddeley Olympus which was still in development. The F-102B would later evolve to become the F-106A, dubbed the Ultimate Interceptor. The prototype YF-102 made its first flight on 23 October 1953, at Edwards AFB, but was lost in an accident nine days later. The second aircraft flew on the 11th of January 1954, confirming a dismal performance. Transonic drag was much higher than expected, and the aircraft was limited to Mach 0.98 i.e. subsonic, with a ceiling of 48,000 feet 14,630 meters, far below the requirements. Topic major redesign to solve the problem and save the F-102, Convair embarked on a major redesign, incorporating the recently discovered area rule, while at the same time simplifying production and maintenance. The redesign entailed lengthening the fuselage by 11 feet 3.35 meters, being pinched at the midsection dubbed the Coke bottle configuration, with two large fairings on either side of the engine nozzle, with revised intakes and a new, narrower canopy. A more powerful model of the J-57 was fitted, and the aircraft structure was lightened. The first revised aircraft, designated YF-102A flew on 20 December 1954, 118 days after the redesign started, exceeding Mach 1 the next day. The revised design demonstrated a speed of Mach 1.22 and a ceiling of 53,000 feet 16,154 meters. These improvements were sufficient for the Air Force to allow production of the F-102, with a new production contract signed in March 1954. The production F-102A had the Hughes MC-3 fire control system, later upgraded in service to the MG-10. It had a three-segment internal weapons bay under the fuselage for air-to-air -air missiles. Initial armament was three pairs of GA-1/2, three quarters, later redesignated as AIM-4 Falcon missiles, which included both infrared homing and semi-active radar homing variants. The doors of the two forward bays each had tubes for 12 FFARs for a total of 24, with initially two in 5.1 cm being fitted and later 2.75 in 70 mm replacing them. The F-102 was later upgraded to allow the carrying of up to two GAR-11, AIM-26 nuclear Falcon missiles in the center bay. The larger size of this weapon required redesigned center bay doors with no rocket tubes. Plans were considered to fit the MB-1 Genie nuclear rocket to the design, but although a Genie was test-fired from a YF-102A in May 1956, it was never adopted. The F-102 received several major modifications during its operational lifetime, with most airframes being retrofitted with infrared search, tracking systems, radar warning receivers, transponders, backup artificial horizons, and improvements to the fire control system. 
A proposed close support version never built would have incorporated, in addition, an internal Gatling gun, and extra two hardpoints for bombs in addition to the two underwing pylons for drop tanks that were fitted to all production F-102s, bigger internal fuel tanks, and an in-flight refueling probe. To train F-102A pilots, the TF-102A trainer was developed, with 111 eventually manufactured. The aircraft was designed with side-by-side -side seating to facilitate pilot training, a popular concept in the 1950s also used with the American Cessna T-37, British Hawker Hunter T.7 and English Electric Lightning T.4, among others. This required a redesign of the cockpit and nose incorporating a set of vortex generators on the top of the cockpit to prevent flow separation under certain circumstances, and repositioning of the intake ducts. Despite the many changes, the aircraft was combat capable, although this variant was predictably slower, reaching only subsonic speeds in level flight. The numerous inherent design and technical limitations of the F 102 led to a proposed successor, initially known as the F 102B. Ultimate Interceptor. The improved design, in which the proposed Curtis Wright J-67 jet engine was eventually replaced by a Pratt & Whitney J-75, underwent so many aerodynamic changes including variable geometry inlets that it essentially became an entirely new aircraft and hence was redesignated and produced as the F-106 Delta Dart. Convair would also use a Delta Wing design in the Mach 2 class Convair B-58 Hustler bomber. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operational history. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Introduction to service. The first operational service of the F-102A was with the 327th Fighter Interceptor Squadron at George Air Force Base, in April 1956, and eventually a total of 889 F-102 as were built, production ending in September 1958. TF-102s and F-102s were used in the 1960s by the Air Defense Command ADC at Perrin AFB, Texas to train new F-102 pilots. They also provided platform training on flight characteristics of Delta-winged aircraft for pilots who were destined to fly the B-58 Hustler bomber for the Strategic Air Command SAC. The F-102's official name, Delta Dagger, was never used in common parlance, with the aircraft being universally known as the Deuce. The TF-102 was known as the Tub because of its wider fuselage with side-by-side -side twin seating. During the time the F-102A was in service, several new wing designs were used to experiment with the application of increased conical camber to the wings. Ultimately, a design was selected that actually increased elevon area, reduced takeoff speed, improved the supersonic L-D ratio and increased the aircraft's ceiling to 56,000 feet a modification was required to the landing gear doors due to the wing redesign. The Air Defense Command had F-102 Delta Daggers in service in 1960 and the type continued to serve in large numbers with both Air Force and Air National Guard units well into the 1970s. George W. Bush, later President of the United States, flew the F-102 in the 147th Fighter Interceptor Group based at Ellington AFB in Houston, Texas as part of his Texas Air National Guard service from 1968 to 1972. Topic Vietnam War service The F-102 served in the Vietnam War, flying fighter patrols and serving as bomber escorts. A total of 14 aircraft were lost in Vietnam, one to air-to-air -air combat, several to ground fire and the remainder to accidents. 
Initially, F-102 detachments began to be sent to bases in Southeast Asia in 1962 after radar contacts detected by ground radars were thought to possibly be North Vietnamese Eel-28 Beagle bombers, considered to be a credible threat in that time period. The F-102s were sent to Thailand and other nearby countries to intercept these aircraft if they threatened South Vietnam. Later on, Boeing B-52 Stratofortress strikes, codenamed Arc Light, were escorted by F-102s based in the theater. It was during one of these missions that an F-102 was shot down by a North Vietnamese Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21 using an RR-2 Atoll heat-seeking missile. The MiGs approached undetected, and one of the F-102s was hit by an air-to-air -air missile, which did not explode immediately, but remained lodged in the aft end of the aircraft, causing stability problems. As the pilot reported the problem to his wingman, the wingman observed the damaged Delta Dagger explode in mid-air, killing the pilot. This was the only air-to-air -air loss for the F-102 during the Vietnam War. The other F-102 pilot fired AIM-4 missiles at the departing MiG-21s, but no hit was recorded. The F-102 was employed in the air-to-ground role with limited success, although neither the aircraft nor the training for its pilots were designed for that role. The 509th Fighter Interceptor Squadron's juices arrived at Da Nang Air Base, 4 August 1964 from Clark Air Base, Philippines. The interceptor was equipped with 24 2.75 in 70 mm FFARs in the fuselage bay doors. These could be used to good effect against various types of North Vietnamese targets in daylight. At night it proved less dangerous to use heat-seeking Falcon missiles in conjunction with the F-102's nose-mounted IRST infrared search and track on nighttime harassment raids along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Some F-102s were configured to accommodate a single AIM-26 Super Falcon in each side bay in lieu of the two conventional AIM-4 Falcons. Operations with both the F-102A and TF-102A two-seaters which were used in a forward air control role because its two seats and 2.75 in, 70 mm rockets offered good versatility for the mission continued in Vietnam until 1968 when all F-102s were returned to the United States. Later use In 1973, six aircraft were converted to target drones as QF-102 as and later PQM-102Bs simulating MiG-21 threat aircraft under a full-scale aerial target FSAT project known as paved use. Eventually, the program converted hundreds of F-102s for use as target drones for newer fighter aircraft, as well as testing of the U.S. Army's Patriot missile system. The F-102 and TF-102 were exported overseas to both Turkey and Greece. The Turkish F-102s saw combat missions during the 1974 Turkish invasion of Cyprus. There have been claims of air combat between Greek F-5s and Turkish F-102s above the Aegean Sea during the Turkish invasion. A Greek internet website editor, Demetrius Sturgio, claims that the Greek F-5s had shot down two Turkish F-102s, while the Turkish side has claimed that their F-102s had shot down two Greek F-5s. However, both Greece and Turkey still officially deny any aircraft losses. The F-102 was finally retired from both of those air forces in 1979. The F-102 left U.S. service in 1976, while the last QF-102A, PQM-102B drone was expended in 1986. 
No F-102s remain in flyable condition today, although many can be seen at museums or as permanent static displays as gate guardians at Air Force and Air National Guard installations. Variants <inaudible> 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 YF-102 Prototypes. Non-area ruled fuselage. Powered by 14,500 lbf .5 kilonewtons J57 P11, 2 built. YF-102A Area ruled prototypes. Powered by 16,000 lbf (71.2 kilonewtons) J57 P23, four converted from pre-production aircraft. F102A production model. Initial eight pre-production aircraft built with non-area ruled fuselage. Remainder built 879 with area ruled fuselage. TF-102A Two-seat training version, 111 built. F-102B The original designation of the F-106A. F-102C Proposed tactical attack version with J-57P-47 engine. Two converted as as YF-102C engineering test beds. QF-102A Target drones converted from the F-102A. 6 built. PQM-102A Unpiloted target drones. 65 converted. PQM-102B Revised target drone conversion, capable of being flown remotely or by pilot in cockpit. 146 converted. Topic Operators Greece Air Force in 1969, Greece acquired 24 of these aircraft for use by the 114th Combat Wing at Tanagra Air Base, 19 of them were single-seat F-102As, 5 were two-seat TF-102As. They served with the Greek Air Force until 1978, when the F-102s were replaced by Mirage F-1CG fighters. Turkey Turkish Air Force Beginning in 1968, approximately 50 F 102 as and TF 102 as were transferred to Turkey from USAF stocks. Before transfer to Turkey, they were overhauled by CASA in Seville. They were initially assigned to the 191st Philo Squadron based at Mertid, replacing the F-84F Thunderstreaks previously assigned to this unit. This unit was redesignated 142nd Philo in early 1973. In 1971, F-102s were also assigned to the 182nd Philo based at Diyarbakir, replacing the F-84Fs previously being flown by this unit. F-102s remained in service with these two squadrons until mid-1979, when they were replaced by the F-104G in the 142nd Philo and by the F-100C in the 182nd Philo. United States United States Air Force Air Defense Command, Aerospace Defense Command 2nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Suffolk County AFB, 1956–1959 5th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Suffolk County AFB, 1956–1960 11th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Duluth AFB, 1956–1960 18th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Wurtsmith AFB, 1957 27th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Griffiths AFB, 1957 
31st Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Wurtsmith AFB, 1956-1957, transferred to Alaska Air Command. 37th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Ethan Allen AFB, 1957 47th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Niagara Falls AFB, 1958 48th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Langley AFB, 1957 57th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Naval Station Keflavik, 1962-1973 59th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Goose Bay AFB, 1960-1966 61st Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Truex Field, 1957-1960 64th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, McCord AFB, 1957-1960, Payne Field, 1960-1966. 71st Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Selfridge AFB, 1958-1960. 76th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Westover AFB, 1961-1963. 82d Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Travis AFB, 1957 86th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Youngstown AFB, 1957 87th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Lockbourne AFB, 1958 95th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Andrews AFB, 1958-1959 317th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, McCord AFB, 1957-1958 318th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, McCord AFB, 1957-1960 323d Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Truex Field, 1956-1957, Harmon AFB, 1957-1960. 325th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Truex Field, 1957-1966. 326th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Richards Gebauer AFB, 1957-1967 327th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, George AFB, 1956-1958, Thule B, 1958-1960 329th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, George AFB, 1958-1960 331st Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Webb AFB, 1960-1963 332nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Maguire AFB, 1957-1959, England AFB, 1959-1960, Thule B, 1960-1965, 438th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Kinchelo AFB, 1957-1960. 456th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Castle AFB, 1958-1960. 460th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Portland AFB, 1958-1966. 482nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Seymour Johnson AFB, 1956-1965 498th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Geiger Field, 1957-1959 Alaskan Air Command 317th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Elmendorf AFB, 1958-1970 31st Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Elmendorf AFB, 1957-1958 United States Air Forces in Europe 
32d Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Soesterberg AB, 1960-1969, 431st Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Zaragoza AB, 1960 1960-1964 496th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Han AB, 1960-1970 497th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Torrejon AB, 1960-1963 525th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Bitburg AB, 1959 to 1969. 526th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Ramstein AB, 1960 to 1970. Pacific Air Forces. 4th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Misawa AB, 1957 to 1965. 16th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Naha AB, 1959 to 1965. 40th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Yokota AB, 1957 to 1965. 64th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Clark AB, 1966 to 1969. 68th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Itazuke AB, 1957 to 1965. 82D Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Naha AB, 1966 to 1971. 509th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Clark AB, 1959 to 1970. Air National Guard. 102d Fighter Interceptor Squadron, NY Ang, Suffolk County ANGB, 1972 to 1975. 111th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, TX Ang, Ellington Field, 1960 to 1975. 116th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Wa Ang, Geiger Field, 1965 to 1969. 118th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, CT Ang, Bradley ANGB, 1966-1971. 122nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, LA Ang, NARS New Orleans, 1960-1971. 123d Fighter Interceptor Squadron, OR Ang, Portland ANGB, 1966-1971. 132nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Miang, Bangor ANGB, 1969-1970. 134th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, VT Ang, Burlington ANGB, 1965-1975. 146th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, PA Ang, Pittsburgh AP, 1961-1975. 151st Fighter Interceptor Squadron, TN Ang, McGee Tyson ANGB, 1963-1964. 152D Fighter Interceptor Squadron, AZ Ang, Tucson ANGB, 1966-1969. 157th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, SC Ang, Massentire ANGB, 1963-1975. 159th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, FL Ang, Imerson Field, 1960-1968, Jacksonville ANGB, 1968-1974. 175th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, SD Ang, Sioux Falls AFB, 1960-1970. 176th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Y Ang, Truex Field, 1966-1974. 178th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, ND Ang, Hector Field, 1966-1969. 179th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, MN Ang, Duluth ANGB, 
182nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, TX Ang, Kelly AFB 186th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, MT Ang, Great Falls ANGB 1966-1972 190th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, ID Ang, Gowan Field, 1964 to 1974-1975. 194th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, CA Ang, Fresno ANGB, 1964 to 1974-1974. 196th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, CA Ang, Ontario IAP, 1965-1975. 199th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Hai Ang, Hickam AFB, 1960 to 1977. Topic: Aircraft on display. Topic: Canada. F 102A 56 1266 Stephenville, Newfoundland. This aircraft was formerly of the U.S. 59th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Goose Bay, Happy Valley, Labrador. Greece F 102A 56 1106 Tanagra 56 minus 1232 Larissa TF 102A 56 2355 Hellenic Air Force Museum Tatoy 55 minus 4035 equals Hellenic Air Force Museum Tatoy equals Topic Netherlands equals F102 a registration unknown on display at the National Militaire Museum Soesterberg former greek aircraft painted as 56 minus 1032 32nd fis usaf equals topic turkey equals F 102A 55-3386 Istanbul Aviation Museum TF 102A 56-2368 Istanbul Aviation Museum equals topic United States equals YF 102A 531787 Air Park at Jackson Barracks Military Museum, New Orleans, Louisiana. 53 minus 1788 Carolinas Aviation Museum, Charlotte, North Carolina. TF 102A 541351 Selfridge Military Air Museum, Selfridge ANGB, Mount Clemens, Michigan. 54 minus 1353 Century Circle at Edwards Air Force Base, near Rosamond, California. 54 minus 1366 Pima Air and Space Museum adjacent to Davis Monthan AFB in Tucson, Arizona. 56 minus 2317 Grissom Air Museum, Grissom Air Reserve Base, former Grissom AFB, Peru, Indiana. 56 minus 2337 Fort Worth Aviation Museum, Fort Worth, Texas. 56 minus 2346 Pennsylvania National Guard Military Museum, Pennsylvania National Guard Headquarters, Fort Indiantown Gap, Pennsylvania. Air 
aircraft was assigned to the Pennsylvania Air National Guard. At the 112th Fighter Interceptor Group, Pittsburgh International Airport, Coropolis, Pennsylvania from 1960 to 1974 and is on loan from the National Museum of the United States Air Force. 56-2352 Southern Museum of Flight, Birmingham, Alabama. 56-2353 Wisconsin National Guard Memorial Library and Museum, Volk Field, Camp Douglas, Wisconsin. 56-2364 Castle Air Museum, Atwater, California, F-102A-53-1801 Joe Foss Field Air National Guard Station 114th Fighter Wing, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. 53-1804 Fresno Air National Guard Base 144th Fighter Wing, Fresno, California. 53-1816 Boise, Idaho Military History Museum, Boise, Idaho. 54-1405 Strategic Air and Space Museum, Ashland, Nebraska. 54-1373 Hickam AFB, Honolulu, Hawaii. 55-3366 Pacific Aviation Museum, Ford Island, Honolulu, Hawaii. 560984 Wings Over the Rockies Museum, former Lowry AFB, Denver, Colorado. 560985 McIntyre Air National Guard Base, South Carolina. 560986 Maps Air Museum, Akron Canton Regional Airport, Ohio. 56-1017 South Dakota Air and Space Museum, Ellsworth AFB, Rapid City, South Dakota. 56-1053, painted as 56-1274, Alaska Heritage Park, Elmendorf AFB, Alaska. 56-1105 Lions Park in Great Falls, Montana. 56-1109 Peterson AFB, Colorado Springs, Colorado. 56-1114 March Field Air Museum, March Arb, former March AFB, Riverside, California. 56-1115 Fairchild AFB, Spokane, Washington. 56-1134 Arizona ANGB, Tucson, Arizona. 56-1140 Aerospace Museum of California, former McClellan AFB, Sacramento, California. 56-1151 Museum of Aviation, Robbins AFB, Warner Robbins, Georgia. 56-1219 Empire State Aerosciences Museum, Schenectady County Airport, New York. 56-1252 Ellington Field Joint Reserve Base, Houston, Texas. Former President of the United States George W. Bush flew this model with the 147th Fighter Interceptor Group, 111th Fighter Interceptor Squadron of the Texas Air National Guard in the early 1970s. It is mounted on a pole that exits the burner. His name is on the canopy. 56-1264 Connecticut ANGB 103rd FW, Windsor Locks, Connecticut. 56-1268 San Diego Air and Space Museum, Gillespie Field, El Cajon, California. 56-1273 Wisconsin National Guard Memorial Library and Museum, Volk Field, Camp Douglas, Wisconsin. 
56-1282 Transportation and Industry Museum of Alaska, Wasilla, Alaska. 56-1325, painted as 56-1476, Minnesota Air National Guard Base, Minneapolis, Minnesota. 56-1368 Evergreen Aviation Museum, McMinnville, Oregon. 56-1393 Pima Air and Space Museum adjacent to Davis Monthan AFB in Tucson, Arizona. 56-1413 Castle Air Museum, former Castle AFB, Atwater, California. 56-1415 Pittsburgh IAP Air Reserve Station located at Pittsburgh International Airport, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Refurbished in 2010 56-1416 National Museum of the United States Air Force, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio. 56-1427 Travis AFB Heritage Center, Travis AFB, Fairfield, California. 56-1502, painted as 55-3432, North Dakota ANGB 119th FG, Fargo, North Dakota. 56-1505 Minot AFB, Minot, North Dakota. 56-1515 McCord Air Museum, McCord Air Force Base, Washington. 570788 Long Island MacArthur Airport, Long Island, New York. 570817, painted as 56 1357, Florida Air National Guard Base 125th Fighter Wing, Jacksonville, Florida. 570826, Shepard AFB, Wichita Falls, Texas. 570833, Hill Aerospace Museum, Hill AFB, Utah. 570858 Burlington Air National Guard Base, Burlington, Vermont. 570906 Museum of Aviation, Warner Robins AFB, Macon, Georgia. Topic specifications F102A data from the Great Book of Fighters General Characteristics Crew 1 length 68 feet 4 in 20.83 meters wingspan 38 feet 1 in 11.61 meters height 21 feet 2 in 6.45 meters wing area 661.5 feet 2 61.52 square meters original wing or 695 feet 2 64.57 square meters conically cambered wing airfoil NACA 0004 65 mod root and tip empty weight 19350 pounds 8777 kilograms loaded weight 24500 pounds 11100 kilograms max takeoff weight 31000 500 pounds 14300 kilograms internal fuel capacity 1085 US gal 4107 L external fuel capacity 2 times 215 US gal 815 L drop tanks power plant 1 times Pratt and Whitney J57 P25 afterburning turbojet dry thrust 11700 lbf 52 2.0 kilonewtons thrust with afterburner 17200 lbf 76.5 kilonewtons performance maximum speed Mach 1.25 825 miles per hour 1304 kilometers per hour at 40000 feet 12190 meters range 1350 miles 1170 nmo 
2175 kilometers service ceiling 53400 feet 16300 meters rate of climb 13000 feet per minute 66 meters per second wing loading 35 pounds per square foot 172 kilograms per square meter thrust weight 0 0.70 armament rockets 24 times 2 75 in 70 mm FFAR folding fin aerial rocket unguided rockets in missile bay doors missiles 6 times aim 4 falcon air to air missiles or 3 times aim 4 falcon 1 times aim 26 falcon with conventional or nuclear warhead avionics MG10 fire control system Topic. See also Century series related development Convair XF-92 Convair F-106 Delta Dart aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Avro Canada CF-105 Arrow Dassault Mirage 3 English Electric Lightning Mikian Gurevich MiG-21, Chengdu J-7 Saab 35 Draken Sukhoi Su-9, Su-11 Sukhoi Su-15 Related lists List of fighter aircraft List of military aircraft of the United States <laughs>